This video, sponsored by AE Juice. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to take a look at the Seamless Transition Pack by AE Juice. It comes with a 7 days trial. And this preset is so helpful, that you may want to buy it. And for that, we have a very special offer for you. Let's roll the intro. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Transition. I am using the 1920 by 854 resolution, at 24 frames per second. Now, as you can see, this is a new tab. This is the preset which I am talking about. You can download it from the link in the description. After installing it on your computer, simply open After Effects, go to the window and select the AE Juice Pack Manager. It will open up the same preset on your After Effects. Now go to the new pack, and download the Seamless Transition Pack. It comes with a 7 days trial. As well as, all other paid packs in AE Juice, also comes with a 7 days trial. Now open the Seamless Transition Pack, and this is all your transitions. Let's import our video into the project. You can use the image as well. Place them onto the timeline, then go to around 2 seconds position, and make sure all layers are selected. Now press Ctrl, Shift D, to split them, and hit the delete key, to delete the extra part. Now select all three layers once again, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select sequence layers. Hit OK and it will align your video clips right next to each other. Cool. Let's arrange the video clip position, by using the up and down arrow key. And this is how the video looks before. Let's apply some transitions on it. This transition pack comes with over 1600 transitions. Such as blur, camera, displacement, fade, fisheye, lens, offset, glitch, flares, and many more. The list is so huge, that we won't be able to cover them, in a single video. So I am going to show you the basic of using these transitions. Let's go to the lens folder. I will use a transition from it. As you can see, there are some icons on the bottom. These are the settings for the transitions. You can filter them, or even control the in, and out animation speed. Let's see how can we apply these transitions. Simply go to the point between two layers, then grab any transition, and place them onto the timeline. It will apply the transition immediately. And this is how it will look now. Cool. We just spent a few seconds, and the transition is done. Let's apply the second transition as well. Go to the starting position of the third layer, grab any transition, and place it onto the timeline. And done. There are other options available, to play with these transitions. Let's delete this transition. Now we will take a look at the settings one by one. Right now, we are going to use the in. So let's click on it. And then place the transition. This marker in the middle should match with the cut of the video. 
so make sure it is placed right between your video clips. Check the animation, and now you will see a difference. The transition was faster in beginning, and then it became slower. Cool. Let's delete it once again, and let's check other settings. You can increase or decrease the speed, or duration of any transition, by clicking on this time icon. You can make it faster, or even slower. I am choosing the default speed. Also, you can adjust the motion blur of any transition. Let's see how it works. I am switching motion blur amount to 0%, to find out the difference. Again, go to the starting position of the third layer, and add any transition on your timeline. See, we don't have any motion blur at all. If you are seeing any blur here, it is because of the video quality. So let's delete it, then go to the transition setting, and switch the motion blur value to 100%. Apply the same transition on it, and see, now we have the motion blur. Cool. You can also add multiple transitions on the same clips, and it will create a new transition. Let's go to the offset folder, and choose a transition here. I am going to apply this one. Let's place it right on top of the first transition. Now we have both transitions applied right onto our video clips. Cool. See how easy and fast it is. Let's add one more transition. This time, I am going to the glitch folder. Each folder contains high quality transitions. Make sure you are at the right position, and then grab any transitions from the glitch folder, and apply it right onto your timeline. See, we have applied multiple transitions. Of course, you should take your time, in choosing the right transition. I am just showing you the way, destiny is yours. Cool. Let's select all transition layers, and delete them. Again go to the starting position of the second clip, and now I am going to apply target zoom. This is one of the famous transition, which is getting famous from few years. Go to the target zoom folder, grab any transition, and place them right here. As you can see, this target zoom transition is now zooming in from the center of the image. This looks good, but in case, you want to change the center of this zoom, you can do it easily, just by one click. Simply click on this target icon. Then go to your footage, and click on this location, where you want to place the center point. And then it will follow the same center point. Also, we need to add the end center point as well. You can place it anywhere you want, but I am going to place it into the same point, as the last one. So that the transition will look symmetrical. And done. We did it in just a few clicks. This pack can be really helpful for the video editors. You can try it, or buy it from the links in the description. This Black Friday, they are offering a huge discount on their product. You can get 50% off, on Black Friday offer, on all packages. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and sayonara.